All right, well, Tri-Center comes away with a big 58-13 win here tonight over Riverside. Keep their season alive. Moving on to a quarterfinal next week. And, uh, guys, just kind of start us off here, Aiden, just to kind of walk us through. Just take, give us some of your, some of your, some of your thoughts and uh, kind of take us from that win for you guys. Um, we just put a lot of time in on defense, uh, watch a lot of film, gets us, gets us prepared for what we're going to see. You know, we knew they wanted to run the ball, and that's exactly what we stopped. Our offense just rolled the whole game, and I think that's what really uh, shut them out. So. Yeah, I'm agree with Aiden. You know, preparation is huge for us. You know, we prepare well. I think we're up there in the top tier of teams, you know. Yeah, we had a great week of practice, and it really showed tonight with the scoreboard at the end. So obviously, just kind of speak to that defensive performance there for you guys. Uh, Jaden, obviously, you had the pick six there early in that game as well. But just what did you guys really feel was kind of the difference uh, there up front defensively tonight? Um, I felt that our D-line and linebackers were doing a great job stopping the run. And we know we, we knew that we had to do that if we wanted to win. Obviously, you had that pick six there. Just kind of walk us through that play. Kind of felt like maybe that kind of helped uh, uh, both things open a little bit there early for as well for you guys. Yeah, we watch a lot of film, and they lined up, and I kind of knew what they were running, and I just jumped it and took it to, got, the, crib. Took it to the crib. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, Carter, big night for you rushing tonight. I think you had over, 100, two, over 200 yards, also had six touchdowns this evening. Just kind of speak on your performance. What did you feel was working tonight? Uh, and it all starts with these guys up front. I love each and every one of them. You know, and I think any play we called, it worked, and the cutback lanes were there, which helped a lot. And obviously, you can just kind of speak to that a little bit. Uh, who are those five up there with you there that are kind of helping paving those lanes for for Carter? We've got the left tackle, Jurgens, Ethan Georges. You know, put, he's putting the work in the offseason, the weight room. We got uh, <laughs> our little little guy Brooks. You know, he's a dog. He just the size doesn't even matter at that point. He just fights harder harder than the rest of the line, to be honest. So, right right guard is Ethan Chesmore. He's just a beast. And then uh, right tackle Bubs is just another beast on the line. So you didn't kind of mention that defensive line for you guys tonight was really kind of setting the tone there. A lot of getting the backfield quite a bit tonight. Uh, what, would you, what was working for you guys? What were you seeing up there up front tonight? Uh, we just watched the guards. When the guards pull, we know where the ball's going. Um, we knew the ja they wanted to get the ball to Jackson, and so we just watched for where the ball was going. We just all swarmed to the ball. Obviously, Carter offensively, it was a run heavy there through the first uh, portions of that game. But you guys were able to open, a little, open it up a little bit there through the air uh, later in that one. Kind of how big is that, obviously, you know, to kind of have that on top of a strong run game for you guys? I think it relaxes the quarterback and me too, you know, because A.J. knows he can give me the ball and we'll do our thing, and then I know that A.J. can throw the ball. So it just evens everything out and makes it a lot easier for us. And obviously, you guys, just one game away now. Tri-Center gets its first postseason win last week, and now you're one week away here uh, from a trip to the UNI Dome here. Just kind of kind of your guys' thoughts here, obviously, heading into what should be a pretty big matchup next week against ACGC. Yeah, you know, we just got to stop the run, and, you know, we got to run the ball too, and I think our run will open up the pass, and we just got to play good defense. Yeah, I think preparation next week will be huge. I know our coaches will put in a ton of time for us, and we'll just have to go out and execute next Friday. You know, just like they said, you know, watch watch more film on them and uh, really just see what they want to do on offense, which is run. But we just gotta lock in and stop the run. Congrats on the win tonight, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, once again, 58-13 win here for Tri Center over Riverside here tonight. They move on state quarterfinal next week here now with head coach Schroeder and uh, coach. Just uh, obviously a pretty dominant win for your boys here tonight. You got out there to a quick start as well. Yeah. Uh, just kind of speak to your guys' performance here this evening. You know, they were really dialed in. We. Uh, we were pretty excited going into this one. You know, we felt like we had, we, we felt like we still had something to prove. You know, um, been a great season for us, but you know, we haven't put a put a total game together. You know, last week was close, um, but tonight I think boys really stepped up and played a complete game, and you know, the scoreboard shows it. Obviously, you got a couple of quick offensive touchdowns. Also had the pick yeah. six there that kind of helped blow yeah. things open a little bit. How big was that to uh, be able to jump out early there in that first quarter? Oh, I think it was huge. And Jaden's pick six, you know, that was that was a game changer right there. You know, that that gave us all the momentum. You know, and we just we just stayed on it. And I told the guys, I was like, you know, Riverside's a very talented team, and they can score quick. So we gotta we gotta keep doing our job and, and stay on the gas. Now, just kind of speak to that rushing game tonight. I think uh, yeah. Kunze finished with over 200 yards tonight. Uh, just kind of speak to really what was working for you guys on that side of the ball. You know, we worked all week at, at, at you know correcting blocks and stuff like that. You know, so we 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 figured we were hoping we could run the ball. You know, and when they came out, you know, and and we scored, you know, pretty quick and and early. You know, we felt like we were in a good spot. And and my guys up front, they're just they've just done a great job all all year. And you know maintaining blocks and, and going to the whistle and Carter Carter reaps the benefits.
Sure. And obviously, you kind of add on top of that, that passing game you guys kind of incorporated a little later on as well, but with Harder and obviously Zach Nelson as well as uh, Whiteout. Just kind of speak, uh, you know, having that on top of uh, that rushing attack for you guys. Yeah, exactly. You know, we, we our goal this year was to be very balanced, and we've done a good job of that. You know, we, we want to be, you know, I, I want to keep things close to 50-50, and we've been, we've been doing that as of late. You know, I don't know we finished up passing yards tonight, but uh, – we try and keep that those two pretty close, and when we do, you know, we feel like we're going to be pretty tough to beat. And on the defensive side of things, that was a pretty stout defensive front for you guys tonight. Just kind of, what did you guys really feel was the difference on that side of the ball tonight? You know, I, I, my hats off to my DC Matt Hoke and, and the, my uh, assistant uh, Stephen Peterson. Those guys just put in a ton, a ton of time, and you know that's why Jaden got that pick six. He knew exactly what was coming. You know, he just sat there and, and did his job, and he knew it was coming. So. You know, he made a play on it, but that, that, that totally that goes on to, to my staff. You know, you surround yourself with great people and good things happen. So my hat's off to all those guys, and, and he, they, they all just put us in a good spot. And obviously, you guys are now just a week away here from a trip to the United Dome after getting your guys' first postseason uh, win in school history. Just kind of talk about, you know, kind of the feelings right now. Being heading is obviously will be a big, pretty big matchup next week as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 been overwhelming to be honest with you. You know, we like to say last week was our first playoff win in school history, and and you know we felt like we had a good chance, you know, but we had to get that monkey off our back. And I knew if we did, you know, that things would things would uh, go pretty good for us. So. The momentum, you know, the kids are just, I, I just went out and told them, you know, immediately after the game, we're going to enjoy this one, but it's back to work tomorrow morning. And they're they're all in. You know, that's that's the difference with this group. They're just, they're very, very laser focused right now. And I couldn't ask for more. Congrats on the win tonight, Coach. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much.